Imagine a creature that dwarfs the king of the jungle with a roar that echoes through the wild and a presence that blurs the line between myth and reality. The Liger, a hybrid offspring of a male lion and a female tiger, is precisely such a marvel. A living paradox of nature's power and human intervention. In the realm of biological anomalies, few creatures captivate the imagination quite like the Liger. A magnificent, almost mythical beast, the Liger stands as a testament to the unpredictable outcomes of interspecies hybridization. Yet, beyond the initial awe inspired by its sheer size and striking appearance, lies a complex narrative woven from genetic intricacies, biological compromises, and profound ethical dilemmas. This video will delve into the fascinating yet often problematic existence of ligers, examining their unique genetic makeup, biological characteristics, behavioral traits, inherent health challenges, and the pressing ethical concerns surrounding their deliberate creation. Welcome to Factroids, where we dive deep into the wonders of science, history, religion, and the natural world. The Liger is a hybrid cross between a male lion, Panthera leo, and a female tiger, Panthera tigris. This pairing is crucial as the reciprocal cross, male tiger and female lion, results in a tiglon or tigon, a distinctly different, often smaller hybrid. The genetic underpinnings of the Liger's exaggerated growth, a phenomenon known as heteresis or hybrid vigor in some contexts, are attributed to imprinting genes. In lions, there's a paternal growth-promoting gene and a maternal growth-inhibiting gene. Tigers, conversely, have a paternal growth-inhibiting gene and a maternal growth-promoting gene. When a male lion breeds with a female tiger, the lion's paternal growth-promoting genes are combined with the tiger's maternal growth-promoting genes, resulting in a synergistic effect that overrides the typical growth-regulating mechanisms found in either parent species. This leads to the liger's extraordinary size, often far exceeding that of both lions and tigers. Biologically, the most striking feature of the liger is its immense size. They are the largest known living felines, often weighing over 900 pounds and reaching lengths of over 10 feet. This rapid and continuous growth, however, comes with significant biological costs. Their skeletal and organ systems struggle to support such massive frames, leading to a range of health challenges. Ligers frequently suffer from joint problems, arthritis, and considerable strain on their hearts and other internal organs. Their metabolism is also often unusual, requiring vast amounts of food, which places further burden on their bodies. In terms of appearance, ligers typically possess a light tawny or sandy coloration, often with faint tiger-like stripes that are more prominent on their legs and flanks, alongside male lion's manes that are typically much smaller and less developed than those of purebred lions. Behaviorally, Ligers exhibit a perplexing blend of traits from both parent species. They reportedly enjoy swimming, a characteristic commonly associated with tigers but generally avoided by lions. They also possess the social inclinations of lions, sometimes living in groups, yet can display the more solitary hunting instincts of tigers. However, due to their captive breeding and artificial environments, it is difficult to ascertain their natural behavioral repertoire. Their behaviors are often shaped by human interaction and the confines of their enclosures, rather than reflecting inherent predispositions in a wild context. The very environment that allows them to exist also limits a true understanding of their natural tendencies. A critical biological consequence of hybridization is sterility, particularly in male ligers. Like many interspecies hybrids, such as mules, male ligers are almost universally sterile. This is due to the genetic incompatibilities between lions, 38 chromosomes, and tigers, 38 chromosomes, which, despite having the same number, 
have chromosomal rearrangements that prevent proper meiosis and thus viable sperm production. While female ligers are occasionally fertile and capable of breeding with either a lion, producing a lie liger, or a tiger, producing a tie liger, their fertility is often compromised or limited. This sterility is a strong indicator of the genetic discord inherent in their creation and underscores their status as an evolutionary dead end. Beyond the biological hardships, the breeding of ligers raises profound ethical concerns. The primary argument against their existence stems from the fact that they are not naturally occurring animals. They are products of deliberate human intervention, typically for novelty, profit, or entertainment. Within captive environments such as circuses, roadside zoos, and private collections. This practice is widely condemned by reputable zoological organizations and conservationists who view it as exploitative and detrimental to animal welfare. Breeding ligers often involves confining parent animals, which can lead to stress and unnatural behaviors. Furthermore, the significant health issues faced by ligers mean they endure lives often plagued by pain and medical complications, requiring extensive veterinary care that may not always be readily available or affordable in all captive settings. Resources that could be directed towards conservation efforts for endangered purebred lion and tiger populations are instead diverted to maintain these artificially created hybrids. The creation of ligers also blurs genetic lines and serves no legitimate conservation purpose, detracting from the vital work of preserving species in their natural forms and habitats. Ligers are a striking example of nature's potential when guided by human hands. Yet they also serve as a cautionary tale about the consequences of such intervention. Their genetic makeup produces awe-inspiring size and unique traits, but at the cost of health complications and sterility. The intentional breeding of these hybrids, driven largely by human curiosity and commercial interests, represents a disregard for animal welfare and a misallocation of resources that could otherwise support the conservation of natural feline populations. The continued creation of ligers serves as a stark reminder of humanity's capacity to interfere with the natural world, urging a re-evaluation of our responsibilities towards animal welfare and the integrity of biodiversity.